Hello fellow Scratchers! The Midnight Mask was our spooky October game jam, and I've got loads of exciting new Scratch games to share with you today. From stealthy heists, to eerie platformers, and even a few brilliantly bizarre twists on the theme. In this video we'll speed through every genre, celebrating our rising challenges and returning champions, and we'll shine the spotlight on the awesome creativity coming out of the Griffbatch Academy. So grab your torch, pull on your mask, and let's dive straight in to the arcade games. Yes, we had loads of awesome entries here, so many clever ideas, every one of them fast paced and full of arcade energy. But now let's take a closer look at our top picks. The Midnight Mask by Fashions. You play as the hero who joins the mischievous Twilight crew. And the presentation of the project is stunning, the intro feels cinematic and the animations are full of life. The game is, well, <laughs> ridiculously hard, but even dying is fun because the game over screen is fab. <laughs> Brilliant work. Huber Nabbit's High Risk Heist by Michael Games. A thrilling stealth escape where you sneak through the boxed imaginary museum, outsmarting the guard along the way. The enemy AI is next level here. They actually seem to hunt you down intelligently. How did they do that? Such an impressive bit of coding. A Midnight Mask by King Midas. This one feels like a full action adventure packed into a game jam. You play a young cadet fighting through a mysterious town, with lush animations, detailed environments and fantastic combat. Even the grass reacts when you walk past it. <laughs> the polish is unreal. It's gameplay and atmosphere working perfectly together. Night Seeker by Hyper Skullfire 77777. This is a fast, click to attack survival game where reflexes rule. It starts simple and then turns into a real test of speed and precision. Super fun, super replayable, and that energy fits the arcade spirit perfectly. Finally, Midnight Mask by Catweasel 1972. A dark, moody action adventure set in a corrupt town. The game engine is amazing with three dimensional scenes, amazing sound design and you can actually hear the voices behind the doors as you explore. Although the game is not really fleshed out further than this, it's a blast of a technical demo and well worth the play. So what a lineup! Every one of these projects showed real creativity and skill. But I have to pick a winner, and that is… King Midas with a Midnight Mask, an epic, hyper-polished action-adventure experience that is hard to fault. However, since they have won before, we're also going to award a Rising Challenger Award to… My Cool Games with Kudnabit's High Risk Heist for such a clever stealth adventure with outstanding enemy AI. Fantastic work from both of you and to everyone else in the arcade category. Next up it's time for the shooter category, and we had enough returning champions to warrant segmenting this one in two, so beginning with our rising challenges. Midnight Mask by Benrex13. You're thrown straight into an epic boss battle, huge attacks, fast patterns and an awesome soundtrack to match. It's intense, it's chaotic, it looks absolutely awesome on screen. Antlers After Dark by Kraken Codes. In this game you battle waves of spooky ghouls through the night, keeping your mask on to hold your power. The difficulty ramps up perfectly, and that sped up music when you lose? <laughs> Comedy gold. It's fast, fun, and very well themed. Mask Game Jam by Minecraft Gamer 1000. This one's got smooth movement, crisp shooting, and particle effects everywhere. Yes, it feels great to play. The glowing doors these zombies pour from are a cool touch, and the enemy AI works really well. Nicely done. So we need a winner. Therefore, our rising challenger is Kraken Codes with Antlers After Dark, a creative, fast paced shooter with awesome style and perfect Halloween energy, and their first ever Game Jam win. Congratulations! Now for our returning champions Masks Till Midnight by Future Scratchy, Robodog81, and Hedgehog81. A brilliant team project, shooting through waves of floating masks, all building up to a midnight boss fight. The teamwork here really shines, and the attack patterns keep you on your toes from start to finish. Mask Hunter 
by Raid Greeny. You're battling through waves of pumpkins and other enemies with a fancy bow and arrow. I liked the bow action. The mix of enemy attacks and interesting control schemes work really well together. Great work. Flying Through Time by Swift. This is a super clever twist on the shooter genre. You must switch between day and night to reveal hidden enemies, defending your tower from all directions and times at once. It's polished, inventive, and looks fantastic. Alright, who is going to win our returning champion award? It goes to… Swift with Flying Through Time, a beautifully coded and genuinely original shooter that shows real mastery of design. Fantastic work, you've done it again. Alright then, time to take things a little lighter with our casual games category. Plenty of fun, creativity and delightful ways to pass the time here. Packed with personality, every one of these games made me smile. But now, let's take a closer look, starting with our Rising Challengers. Catch the Mask by Luminara, a cheerful clicker where you chase down masks for points and candles, and build up a beautiful Halloween backdrop as you go. The artwork is fantastic, and the little details keep it fresh. The atmosphere is perfect for the theme, really fun and satisfying to play. Finding Ghosty by Gaio8 Kim. Can you spot the ghost hidden among the trick-or-treaters? Yeah, they're the only one that can move through the other people. It's simple, clever, and surprisingly challenging. It's such a great concept, and the time limit keeps the tension high. The GSK WC DU FHM Game by H. Christopher G. Well, that title alone deserves an award. You're stretching out an arm, a stupendously long and bendy arm, to hand masks to kids so that they can go trick or treating. The physics are hilarious, and once you get the hang of it, it's pure chaos in the best way. Such a fun and original idea. Now to pick our winner of the Rising Challenger Award, and it goes to. Guy Wait Kim with Finding Ghosty. I was surprised at just how fun of a challenge it was picking out that pesky ghost from the pack. Great game indeed. So on to our returning champions. Mask Em Up by Seriously Scratchy One. This one's brilliant. A smooth nighttime side scroller where you're being chased over cacti by a camel. Chuck back the masks to slow it down. I love the parallax scrolling backgrounds and the transitions and that hilarious ending. One Unusual Night, The Midnight Mask by Pillow Static. A story-driven adventure full of puzzles, quirky humour and a brilliant tech system, tying it all together. I love the sense of world building here, it's funny, clever and feels like a proper little RPG. Masked Midnight by Sipperippo. With an awesome introduction, this is a classic rhythm-based game with slick presentation and a great beat. Just click the notes as they pass by, it's fun to play, super stylish work with loads of potential. Right then, time to reveal our returning champion, and that is… Pillow Static with One Unusual Night, The Midnight Mask, a funny, story-rich adventure that shows just how far you can take a text engine in Scratch. Brilliant stuff. So moving on, the animation category. Here we had a smaller group, but wow, what a burst of creativity and storytelling talent. From clever comedy to cinematic storytelling, these animations were an absolute treat to watch. Beginning with Late Night Robbery by I. Bornofsky. A short and snappy high story told entirely through animation. Simple graphics, but such great movement and pacing. <laughs> that shiny diamond moment had me grinning. Brighthearts Masked Friend by Gaptor12. Here's a heartfelt story. Brightheart meets a mysterious new friend under the starlit sky. What really stands out is the full voice acting and the integrated soundtrack. It's emotional and beautifully done. The story of Elon Musk by I'm Just a Chill Guy 4725. <laughs> this one had me laughing from the start to the finish. A hilarious superhero spoof with great animation, punchy editing, and perfect music choices. The story flows wonderfully, and the silly humour is, uh, yeah, <laughs> well. And finally, A Secret Agent Chicken Episode 1 by Lucas Mario 77777. And I adore. Door the intro scenes. This one feels like an action movie. Dramatic credits, overlays and transitions that look really professional. I just wish it had some music. It's funny, confident and such a strong start to a series. Nicely done. 
All right, time to pick our animator winner. And the best animation award goes to... I'm just a chilly guy, Foot725, with the story of Elon Musk. A crazy little skit that I had just no idea where it was going to go. Awesome job, and keep up the good work. So, just two more genres to go. The next one is the platformer category. This one's always a favourite, and you didn't disappoint. Full of power-ups, puzzles, and beautifully crafted worlds, each one had its own style and flair, so let's take a closer look at the standouts. Four Masks of Mischief by Matthew the Legend 123. In this clean, tile-based platformer, you collect different masks, each granting a unique power, from dashing to high jumping. The movement feels great, the challenges build nicely, and it gets enjoyably tricky later on, as you have to switch powers at speed to beat the levels. The Mask Controls All by September Bell. This one's a wild ride, part maze, part classic platformer, with eerie lighting and clever use of uh, uh, glitches as actual mechanics. I love the creativity. And the platformer section was surprisingly triggering. Oh man. The Evil Wizard, The Masks of Doom by Cool Dude Bob One. Now this is pure platforming fun, smooth movement, brilliant animations and clever mask powers. Each one changes the way you play. It's packed with personality and I was desperate to try out each of the visually appealing masks and their exciting powers. Sneaky Midnight Mask Game Jam by XY14 in Sneaky, you're guiding Scratch Cat through a stealthy mission in pursuit of Doritos, avoiding spotlights and sneaking behind cover. It's clever, engaging, and surprisingly tense. You'll need great timing, as those spotlights got me again and again. But I love it! Right then, time to reveal our platforming champion. And this one is really difficult. But the best platform award goes to... Cool Dude Bob with the Evil Wizard, the Masks of Doom. I simply couldn't get over the enjoyable mask costumes and the fun platform experience they delivered. Full of charm, clever mechanics, you absolutely nailed it. Amazing work. And now, to wrap up our jam, we have the puzzle category. So let's dive in to the standouts. The Midnight Takeover by Robot1702. In the Midnight Takeover, you're searching through a darkened city with a flashlight, trying to find the real Griffpatch Academy logo. It's such a fun concept, like Where's Wally in the Dark? The atmosphere and lighting are spot on. Great idea. Grid Twins by Undyne the Undying. This one is a logic puzzler, where you move two blocks at the same time. It really makes you think. The way the tiles rotate and react is clever, and the challenge grows as you progress. I love seeing inventive control ideas like this. Super creative work. Midnight Switch by FBGN S75. Now, this one is brilliant. A set of 10 connected puzzles where you flip between day and night to change the world around you. It's fast paced, smooth, and forgiving enough to get you experimenting without frustration. Every level's satisfying to solve, and the design is just spot on. Now, lastly, Midnight Mask by Adrian Sud22. This game has you handing out candy to kids while avoiding hidden aliens disguised among them. You can spot them by their odd speech and spooky looks. Such a clever use of text mechanics and humour. Really fun and nicely executed. Right then, now to reveal our puzzle champion. The winner is... FBGNS75 with Midnight Switch, a smooth, inventive puzzler platformer that takes the day and night idea and runs with it beautifully. A joy to play and a perfect way to close out our genre winners. And that wraps up our Midnight Mask Game Jam. What an incredible mix of talent from eerie platformers and epic shooters to heartfelt animations and clever puzzles. Every single entry showed imagination, effort, and the spark of creativity that makes this community so special. A huge congratulations to all our winners and to everyone who took part and experimented, bringing their ideas to life. These game jams are our chance to put what we've learned in the Griffpatch Academy into action, to test our skills, push our creativity, and build confidence through real projects that challenge us in the best way. So if you would like to learn alongside us, level up your Scratch skills, and join our amazing community of young creators, you can find out more at griffpatch.academy. We'd love to have you join the fun. So keep coding, keep sharing your ideas, and who knows, maybe next time you'll be our new champion. 
Until then, stay creative, stay curious, and as always, scratch on, guys.